there's a hidden area on my island and today we're gonna build it. Hi everyone, my name is Katie and thank you for joining me for another Animal Crossing video. I had this awkward transition area between two of my neighborhoods that are raised up on cliffs and I actually thought of something kind of cute and fun to do but it was a little bit difficult and cramped and all that kind of fun jazz that comes with building an Animal Crossing, so let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty squishy, pretty tight in this area. I knew that I wanted to use the party lights arch to light the whole little walkway and to lead you through to the picnic area. But beyond that, I had no idea what I wanted to do. So those are the first things that I laid down. Then I got straight into laying down some pathing. There's quite a bit of pathing in this whole area considering it is quite small and narrow. I put this big picnic blanket in the back here and I really love this custom code. It is so boho and realistic to me. It looks like an actual blanket you would bring for a picnic. Then I got started with the little path that leads you to the actual hidden area. Now let's be real, it's not the most hidden area in the world. It's pretty obvious it's there, but I like the idea of this little date spot that is hidden and that you have to go on this little romantic walk to get to. I love that idea and this is the way that I made that happen. This code is a new one for me. I will have it linked down below in my description box. I think it is so pretty. It's perfect for spring and I just love the flowers on it. I love the pretty pastel colors and just the pastel green. I love everything about it. So I was really happy to find this one. And I was excited to use something a little bit different than the paths that I have around my whole island that made this little hidden secret area feel even more special. I wanted to make it look natural, but then I ended up just following the cliff lines basically because I just didn't have that much room to do any curvy lines or anything like that. If you're interested in the speed builds of either of the two neighborhoods on either side of this little walkway, I will also have those linked in the description box below, as well as all of my speed builds for this pastel Sakura core island. Okay, so once I have that path done, I put back those party light arches. I laid down some flowers because I knew I wanted them there somehow, <laughs> eventually. And I got started placing the picnic items. This probably was the biggest headache of the whole build just because it got really really squishy in here. It was hard to move around and move things how I wanted them to be because I was encapsulated by cliffs but I did make it work in the end after a bit of frustration and I cut a lot of that out I'm gonna be honest. I also knew that I wanted to add in that white lighthouse because I don't think I've used them anywhere else on the island yet but I want to whenever I do my beaches. And I think it just looks so cute in the back here and it also adds that much needed height to the build. I also knew I needed to add that little tourist telescope so that you could look out onto the view of the ocean. And then I'm just adding the different items to make this little picnic really cute and cozy. I added some cushions and candles as well as a little Sakura tea and a pie, and of course the cruiser bike, which is so cute and fits perfectly here. I also had to add some cherry blossom petal piles because 
They don't make it hard to navigate the area, which was a huge bonus in this little build. But I also wasn't able to add any sakura trees because this area was so squishy. And I wanted to bring in my sakura core into the build, of course. I wanted the space to still look cute, but also have the functionality that you could navigate the area and that you could sit there for photos. So that whole premise was challenging, but in the end, I think I figured it all out. I also added a lot of butterfly and bug models along the whole little walkway as well as by the picnic. This just added to the whimsical vibes of the whole area and I also like that the butterflies are kind of leading you through the path to the hidden area. All right, so back to decorating. I figured out how I wanted these flowers to be and I also added a flower along the path itself. That little area felt really awkward to me, so I just covered it up with a flower. Pretty good strategy if you're ever looking to cover up an awkward area. I struggled a bit with decorating these little pockets right before the picnic just because you can't really see whatever you add there until you've already walked past it on the left side. And it was just awkward, I'm not gonna lie. But I ended up adding some flowers, plant partition, some custom codes, and a little vine hanging chair. Can we talk about how good those vine items are? I'm seriously obsessed with them. And I went back and forth with which stone items to add back here, but I ended up going with that lantern and the little deer scare as well as a little candle on a stone stool. And then decorating the actual walkway itself was also awkward <laughs> because of how squishy and tight the area was. I ended up making a little reading area, which I do think turned out really cute with some books and a tiny library on a log bench. And then I was fixing up the decorations right at the beginning of the little walkway. This is right next to my shopping area build that I just did in my last video. I just did the usual, a little snack machine, a signpost, some cookies. <laughs> And then decorating behind that area, I just was filling space with some trees, some flowers, custom codes, a lantern, and a garden cart. And then I really wanted to have this little gyroid right at the front of the walkway. It gave me Studio Ghibli vibes and I was totally here for it. I thought it was so, so cute. And then I was just adding the final details, adding that little bunny, fixing my bug models, adding another cherry blossom petal pile, and switching out that orange bike for a white bike. All right, everyone. Now you know my island's secret and our hidden little picnic area. Let's go down the walkway and see how it looks in first person mode. And there we have it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you liked this one. I had a lot of fun, even though it was a bit of a headache. I think it turned out really cute and I struggle a lot with transition areas and really tight areas just because I get so frustrated with them. Thank you again for watching. If you like this one, please hit subscribe and if you'd like to see more from me, 
Be sure to click that bell to be notified when I post a new video. I've said this before, but I have a whole bunch of videos coming up. I have lots of plans and I'm going to finish this dang island. So if you'd like to see that, be sure to follow along. I hope that you and yours are staying safe, happy, and healthy, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.